Hi guys. I've got two cats up there. And then I also have Lucy. Oh God, there's a cat up, up on top of the window. Dolly! Get down, Nessa! Her name's Dolly, but I love to call her Kitiona. <laughs> Don't know why. Last unboxing. So this one I took a chance on. I bought stuff from these people before. This is... Um, shit, what the hell is the name of the... I bought this on Etsy. What was the name of that? What was the name of the shop? I'm sure it says it in here. Oh yeah, kind. Okay. Let's see what comes in the box. Okay. So we have, thank you for your order, made our day, kind, USA. And then we have a COA, whirl, blasted. So I saw this, remember when I did like the buyer's guide kind of on Etsy and I saw this guy and I thought it would be good and I just bought it. It was like 80 bucks. I don't normally like blasted stuff because it feels kind of like a chalkboard, but it looks cool and it looked like it had really strong magnets and the plates look really interesting. It looks very clean. Now, since, before I even slide this, I've seen somebody say something about this on Facebook about how the magnets were too strong, so. Oh yeah. They are strong, man. This is one of those fidgets that you have. Oh, I got pinched. Oh, it's nice though. <gasps> Might have to put a dampener in there. <gasps> oh, shit. Usually you can learn how to play with a fidget and not get fucked up. Like, there's a way that you can ladder it down and then you move skin away it feels like it's jumping a little bit wow this thing is violent uh. oh. all right let me turn the camera around. Lucy? Okay. Let's take a, let's take a look. Lucy's gonna help me today. God, I got black hair everywhere. All right, so here's what came in the actual package. So it feels really good in the hand. I do like the texture, but it's like insane. I wonder if I can just get used to it. The grip on this thing is really good. Now I do have some weaker magnets that I can quickly switch out, but. Yeah, this thing can do a nice amount of tricks. You know what might be good with this one is sometimes you can do um, like hybrid setups. Strong, strong, strong. Weak, 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 weak. I'm feeling pinching right here when I'm playing with this thing. It's kind of hard because it's a little bit bigger than your average lighter um i should bring like a, a magnus or something out too all right i'm gonna bring a magnus out so that you can see but in the meantime i want you guys to talk to lucy okay
Lucy, tell them, tell them how awesome they are. Lucy, are you telling them? Okay. All right, let's take a look here. Woo! All right. So I've got a Toad X and then I've got a regular Toad. So size comparison, bigger than both. About the same length as the Toad X. Actually, it's very similar in size to the Toad X. So that's a three click. So then I guess we would probably want to compare it to the Toad X, I'd say. It's just a little bit longer. And it's a little, maybe a little fatter. So it's very similar in size, but you don't have, it's more square. This one is smooth. This one is the bead blasted. So this one I've got um, Teflon plates and perfect, really aerodynamic. Now this one is not aerodynamic, but that's okay because you don't want all your fidgets to be the same. The plates on the magnets got that dimple plates on here. This one reminds me of the compa form. But actually this feels, this is not metal, this feels like Delron or something. But what's interesting is it, it's got more of a clack than Magnus's Teflon. So it's, I wonder if it is Delron. Do I want to make a, the magnets weaker? Or do I want to just learn how to play with it? So far I will say it actually is really good. And worth, I definitely do think it's worth 80 bucks. Some people are, when they feel the magnet strength of this puppy, they're gonna like, um, do something X-rated that I shouldn't say on YouTube. <laughs> Some people are going to be like, ow. Now, I'm usually one that doesn't like that. Um, I do feel like the magnet strength could be a little bit lighter. Um, but I'm afraid to open it up. I don't want every fidget that I have to be the same. Sometimes I want something a little bit crazy like this. And then you learn this instinctually how to use it. It does, it does hurt a little bit. Wonder what size is in there. Should I open? I don't really want to. what I even put in there. Dude, that hurt like a bitch. Should I try to do a, a hybrid setup?
Yeah. It really does pinch a lot. Fuck. Um. Yeah, it says magnets N52. Let's just see what kind of magnets are in there. Huh? Should we just see what's in there? Wow, look at the fucking hole that thing caused. <laughs> I do really like the plates a lot. This thing would be perfect if the magnets were not as strong. Should we put it on here? Okay. These look like... Are these the same? Strength. I wonder if I could do strong. I'm afraid I'm gonna fuck it up. These look like these are the same size because I have I have some of the other ones here from like. I guess you could easily do a hybrid setup. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fuck with it right now. Because I have these weak magnets I bought from Amazon and um they're just horrible. And I don't have like a step below the N52s. So I think I'm just going to leave it as is. Because I end up fucking it all up. But at least you can see the inside of it. Kind of pretty cool how the plate system is all one piece here. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time with it. Um, it's actually a really, really good slider. Just got to make sure your skin is out of the way. <laughs> so that's it. Comes with a nice COA, black cat tail. Um, a thank you card. It's actually, the, the finish is actually pretty nice. It's a good, ow, fuck. <laughs> yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, I mean, she'll bite you, but she's a good one. <laughs> thank you, Lucy, for your help. Anyway, thank you guys for watching.